Hey folks, Mike and Nicole here with the Pragmatic Studio. Welcome to our online Rails course. Rails is all about building web apps fast, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this course. That's right. Throughout this course, we'll build a complete Rails app step-by-step -step from idea to deployment so you see exactly how it's done. The app we're going to build will allow folks to register for events. We'll list all the upcoming events on the index page populated from a database. Each event will have its own detail page with additional information about the event and a way to register for it. Folks can then register for an event and see who else is registered for that event. We'll also have a way to add new events or edit an existing event. Now, it looks like a fairly straightforward app, but there's actually a lot going on behind the scenes. Yeah, to pull this off, we'll need to learn all the fundamentals of Rails, including organizing code into models, views, and controllers, using migrations to manage your database schema, routing incoming requests and linking pages together, designing forms and handling validation errors, and modeling a one-to-many relationship with models. Along the way, you'll also learn how to develop Rails apps using a test-first approach. And in the end, we'll deploy our app to a production server. But we want to take you a step further in this course. Having used Rails for many years, we've learned a number of techniques for creating good Rails apps. So throughout the course, we'll discuss design principles and practices to help you get the most out of Rails. And at the end of the course, you'll be comfortable with all the fundamental Rails concepts. And more important, you'll know when and why to use them. So let's talk a little bit about the course format. The course is divided into a series of modules. Each module focuses on an objective, something we want our app to do next. Within each module, there's a video and a series of hands-on exercises. Now, the video isn't a recording of one of our live courses. Rather, it's designed to be your own personal studio. If you were sitting next to us, this is how we'd teach you Rails. We'll incrementally build an application through live coding and short discussions. And because it's a video, you can stop, rewind, and rewatch it as often as you like. But simply watching and listening won't be enough. To really learn Rails, you'll need to practice with your hands on the keyboard. So when you're done watching the video, it will be your turn to do some coding. Each module includes a series of hands-on exercises, a workbook of sorts, to help you apply what you learned in the video. You can work through these at your own pace, and if you get stuck, there are plenty of hints and all the solutions are provided. You'll complete the exercises on your own computer, the same familiar environment you'll use when you actually write your own Rails apps after the course. Now, don't skip these exercises. They're a core part of the course, and practicing is vital to becoming a proficient Rails programmer. In the exercise, you'll create a similar yet slightly different app than the one that we make in the video. Instead of registering for events, you'll build a movie review app. The concepts will be the same, but you'll get to apply them in a slightly different context, which makes it more fun, and it also engages your brain more than just coding along with us. In the Movie Review app, you'll list recently released movies on the index page, populated from a database. Each movie will have its own detail page with more movie information and a way to review the movie. Movie fans can then write a movie review and see what other fans, or not, have said about the movie. You'll also have a way to add new movies or edit an existing movie. In the end, you'll have two full-featured apps to learn and draw from. So whether you're new to Rails or you've dabbled with it a bit and just need some help putting all the pieces together, it all starts here. So let's head over to the desk and get started.